guys, this is James from Devil's Prime Brush with a really quick update on the Mantic Undead. Everything is built and in my little spray trays ready to be sprayed up. Now all in all there's 94 miniatures here and that equates to just over a thousand points if multi-based correctly and as I said before I'll be doing a separate multi-based video once I get a unit painted up. Let me just zoom in so you can see some of the uh, miniatures. All right, we've got the mummies at the top there. So very lovely little models. Heavily armoured shock infantry. And we've got ghouls down here. There's ten of those. I managed to uh, cut off most of, convert most of them to um, have hand weapons to distinguish them from the zombies, which is in a different tray. We go down to the Necromancer and the scratch built Revenant King, same as a White Lord in fantasy. Then we've got the werewolves with the obligatory liquid green stuff and then a small unit of skeletons with a homemade banner a bit of cotton tied around the top of two spears hopefully you can get the idea what most of them look like and down here we've got the second skeleton unit this time with hand weapons this is the uh, proper one with the proper standard And then on to the zombies. Now the ghoul and zombie kit are totally compatible with each other. So uh, these is a, this is a half and half ghoul bodies with zombie arms and heads. Which is really quite a nice way to do things. They managed to get what is the equivalent of a horde out of 30 models. Which is kind of good. And then we go down. These are the revenants or whites. heavy armour and stuff like that. Well I hope you got a quick idea about what everything looks like fully built. The miniatures are far more characterful than Games Workshop ones. As I said before, very Army of Darkness, which is kind of fun. And as I said before, the game itself is just fun. Hopefully I'll be having a couple of games soon and I'll may even do a battle report. You never know. It depends if I can get a game or not. Living in the deepest, darkest Kent, it's hard to find someone with uh, the same interests in gaming. Right, there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video and as usual, please consider liking it and sharing it around your friends. And if you live in Kent, make a comment so we can come and have a game. Thanks for watching and goodbye.